Hi, I'm Maki, and today we're bringing you to uh, Temple City to this very interesting um, restaurant called Your Space Cafe with the owner and chef who designed the whole awesome menu, uh, Molly. And so I understand that you you have you learn the cooking from the Cordon Bleu. Yes. So uh, so obviously you know a lot of kind of basic and as well as French technique, and and also I'm seeing a lot of the Made, like a very Asian type of uh, ingredients. So you want to tell us a little bit about your idea of creating a menu and creating your restaurant? Uh, yes, I'm from Taiwan, and but I learned my cuisine from the Golden Blue, so I kind of fusion the Asian and French technique together um, for things on, the, on my menu. Now, and as well as I want to point out, I see uni, so that's obviously Japanese. Yes, side of it, and this is as uh, it reminds me of something that I was seeing in Taiwan, and I see some red beans and. Uh so. yeah. Um, actually, this one is a uh, tiramisu waffle. Mm -hmm. So uh, actually, I made it um with, it's not a typical waffle. It's a sweet batter waffle with mm -hmm. um Chinese, um mochi. Mm -hmm. and okay. A rice cake. So you get a nice crunchy outside and chewy inside, like a really nice texture. See, this is what you, why why like what you see it might not be what you get. So. Yeah. Awesome, I can't wait to try it. So I'm going to try this tater tot. You fry really well, it's very crunchy because a lot of times you go to places it's like, you know, okay, the texture's not there. This is actually fried really well. And also, usually when you go to a tater tots, especially it's with cheese, this is actually it's a sauce from, we made it from real uni. Mm -hmm. So you get the sweetness and then the savoriness. And also the, the greatness of uni is the brininess right. from the seed. Mm -hmm. So you get that, you get a sweet aftertaste, it's the brininess mm -hmm. uh, from the uni. Mm. So a lot of times I, I think people like <clears throat> goes into like eating anything like fried potato stuff. They think, people think about like you know, cheese, cheese fries or cheese fries. This is actually a really different version. It looks like you're gonna be expecting something cheesy, but it's not. And yeah, it's, it's actually I really like it. Yeah, it's a lighter sauce, and then you don't get like really sick after a while. Like, right. You will keep having more and more. Right. So it's a great appetizer. Now, can you tell us a little bit about this dish? I mean, it's obviously it's very Japanese and Chinese kind of like fusion. Yeah, this actually um, inspired me from when I went back to Taiwan. There is a pork belly bun. So that kind of inspired me to do a bun, but um, not a pork belly. So I infused with um, Japanese um, unagi, and then uh, added a little um, fresh cucumbers, and then fried pasta on the top. So you get this um, different textures. And I made a mini uh, version, so it's good for everyone can have one for the appetizer. Mm -hmm. The unagi flavor is so good, Thank you. and then it mix it really well with the cucumber and the, the crunchiness. Yeah, that the crunchiness is actually the a fried pasta. Mm -hmm. It's a angel hair actually, mm. and it adds a, a different texture and different layer to the mini bun. So it actually have the soft um, sweetness from the bun, and then mm -hmm. the fatty uh, savory taste from the unagi, mm -hmm. and then a little crunch from the pasta, and then freshness from the cucumber. So I can actually understand it goes really well with, you know, in comparison to the original pork belly is really fatty. Yeah, I that's right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's goes the idea is inspired from the pork one. I really like it. Thank you. Okay. So now finally we're moving on to our entree. So can you tell us a little bit about this okay. dish? Yeah, this is our Japanese hamburger mm -hmm. and it's made with pork and uh, we have a ratio for pork and uh, beef and then with sunny side up egg. Also the the pickle onions, it's specially made with um, fruit vinegar. It has a passion fruit flavor in there. So also the sauce for the hamburger, it's made with apple and pineapple. So you get a naturally um, sweet and sourness from the fruits. So it's a well balanced on dish. So it kind of helps to cuts the fat. And yes, so you still feel, if you even if you uh, finish a whole entree with the fries, you still feel, you don't feel like heavy. Right. I can't wait to eat the rice with the sauce. Let me help you guys. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting hungry just looking at this. I can't wait to try it if I can actually get the rice on it. Okay. Here here we go.
it has a really good balance. Mm, when I'm looking at this dish, it also, almost kind of reminds me of Lokomoko, the Hawaiian food. Yeah, it's inspired from that. Okay, that's because I love Lokomoko, but it's not just that your typical type of gravy. Yeah, it's not. It's like I said, I use mm -hmm. um, the enoki mm -hmm. mushroom and then mix it with um, fruits mm -hmm. to make the sauce. Right, so it's, a, it's almost like a lighter version of, um, of Lokomoko. It's, it's not as heavy, it's, much, it's lighter, but, yeah. but it still has a very, really good flavor and a little bit of similarity in it. I really, I really enjoy it. So finally, we get to try the dessert now. So earlier, what I mistakenly, I'm so sorry, I thought it was some red bean, but it's, it's, you said tiramisu. It's a tiramisu. So it's almost like a deconstructed tiramisu. Yes, it's so. um, basically um, the waffle and then that's the tiramisu cream on the bottom. So mm -hmm. it's kind of you dip into it to get the sauce. Okay. But the waffle itself has a lot of flavor already. Also a really special um, uh, texture. Okay. It's crunchy outside and nice and chewy inside. Mm -hmm. There's a nice uh, mochi in there. Okay, so go ahead. Mm. So I definitely taste a little bit of the, the sauce, you know, with a little bit of mars mascarpone. Yes. And then I mm -hmm. taste a little bit of chocolate flavor. Yeah, it's from the tiramisu because mm -hmm. there's uh, cocoa powder. Okay. And also we made a really special uh, tiramisu syrup for the dessert. Okay, and then obviously the textures, I mean, I can taste that there's mochi yeah. right inside. And it's not it's not as strong like a, as, as a fatty taste like compared to like if you go to like an Italian restaurant. Yeah, it's stuff. not a lot of buttery stuff in there, mm -hmm. but um, I try to bring out the more, like the sweetness, but not too sweet. Mm -hmm. So you kind of want more and more. Right. Yeah, and then the nice um, mochi in there gives you another texture, mm -hmm. crunchy inside and then chewy inside. Yeah, it's 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 so good, and and I I don't feel as guilty eating. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel so lucky to get to try all these like yummy yummy food and very different type of cuisine. So I suggest like if you are so sick of trying other type of fusion stuff with a bunch of sriracha sauce, <laughs> try to get a different perspective of fusion cuisine. And this is definitely it's very different from all the other type of fusion cuisines you have. And come and try it. You know, where are you gonna find uni sauce with tater tots, right? So come on over and Temple City, this is so good. I'm bringing my friends over, definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you next time. Bye. Bye.